Hey, so I have a blinking LED, as you can see, on my breadboard. Why do I have a blinking LED? Well, the LED blinker is a low-frequency oscillator, or an LFO. And uh, an LFO is what is at the heart of any modulation effect. So here's how this works. Suppose you have your um, audio signal, which is, say, you know, for example, a triangle wave, something like that. Um, and that's your, you know, that's your high frequency signal. And then you have your low frequency wave, which is the output of your LFO, right? So now when you uh, do modulation, what you do is you use the low frequency wave to change something about the high frequency wave. So for example, you could use the low frequency wave to uh, modify the volume or the, the amplitude of the high frequency wave. And so you, then you would end up with, you know, say this is zero here, right, down the middle. So then you end up with zero volume here and then it gets louder and then it maybe um, gets flipped and then it gets louder and then it goes zero and then it gets louder and so on, right? And so you end up with this, um, um, this, this um, changing, this changing amplitude. And so this is amplitude modulation. And um, in, in guitar effect terminology, this would be a tremolo pedal. Right? You can also change other things. So for example, uh, you can change the roundedness of the wave. So this is a pretty sharp um, audio signal that you have here. And what you could do is you could start, you could use this to change the roundedness. So you start out with something that's pretty sharp here, and then it gets more and more rounded. And again, it gets sh sharp, you know, and then it gets rounded again. <laughs> you get the idea, right? So then what you're doing here essentially is you're using the uh, low frequency um, the low frequency signal to uh, control a low pass filter right so you're doing low pass filtering and then this would give you a kind of ow, 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 kind of effect okay <laughs> so that's that's what modulation is um, and what my idea here with the led blinker is to have you know your blinking led okay that's giving off light, and then you have maybe your um, your audio signal over here. So let's say that's your, you know, audio signal. And then what you can have is you can have an LDR, a light-dependent resistor. And so then what you get here is a, a periodic attenuation, and then this can be the output. And so then this would be a very simple, a very simple tremolo effect. Now, as you can see, there's not a lot of components to this uh, to this LED blinker. I tried to keep it simple. It's based on an SCR, which is a thyristor. Here's the symbol for an SCR. It's a diode. SCR stands for silicon controlled rectifier. So it's a, it's a rectifier, it's a diode, but it has this control here. It's a bit like it's a bit like a transistor. So in a transistor you have uh, this is say an NPN transistor. You have your collector, your base emitter. So when you put a current in here, then the transistor turns on and you get current flow here. But when you turn this off, this stops again, right? But with the silicon control rectifier, what happens is you put in a current here, this turns on. But then if you uh, if you stop this current, this doesn't automatically stop. So then this only stops when, for example, you um, externally, you know, externally you interrupt it, interrupt the flow of current. So you open a switch, for example, then the SCR resets. And then uh, when you close the switch again, it won't conduct until you give it a current at the input again. So here's how uh, my blinker circuit works. You have your SCR over here and it's uh, you it goes through a capacitor so you have positive voltage going into this through a capacitor and an led right and then from here there's a resistor and a diode going down like that and that's that's pretty much all it is there's one more component but i'll, I'll come i'll come to that later so um, when you first give power here, the current flows through the capacitor. Capacitor, of course, is discharged initially. It flows through the capacitor um, and then through the LED, but there's not a lot of current, so it doesn't actually turn on the LED fully. Um, this, remember, is, is off, turned off right now. So it goes around 
and in here and then it turns this on. Now once this turns on, you get current flow here and it's a much bigger current flow. And uh, now what you get is you get current flowing through this capacitor and the LED and you get a flash of light until the capacitor charges. Once the capacitor is charged, this there's no more current flowing here. Um, and so then what happens is this turns off again, right? Because you have no current going here and no current going here. This turns off again. Well, now it would just stay off except there's a resistor across this. Now this resistor is big enough that the current through this alone is not enough to keep the SCR on. But um, once it turns off, this discharges the capacitor and the process can, can repeat. So that's what is here. That's what's going on. There's one additional component, which is a Zener diode. Now why is there why is this is a 3.3 volt Zener? And this is here so that uh, some of the current can, um, you know, go around the LED. Not all the current has to go through the LED and that allows the LED to turn off completely. So if I just pull out this Zener diode, you'll see it still works, but it just doesn't turn off completely, yeah? Okay, good. So now, uh, yeah, let me go ahead and uh, turn this into a tremolo pedal. So here's the LED blinker circuit in the corner over there and it's connected to the battery through just a regular, um, just a power switch. So when I turn that on, it starts blinking, I turn it off, it stops blinking, um, really simple. And what I've done is that um, in the circuit, I've gone ahead and made this a variable resistor. So that gives me sort of approximate control over this, uh, this voltage drop here which gives me control over the rate of uh, the rate of oscillation because this voltage needs to this voltage here needs to reach a certain level for the uh, for the thyristor to trigger and so that means that uh, sets basically how high uh, this voltage would have to be because the higher this voltage is the higher this voltage is and you know so on and so that tells you how much this capacitor has to discharge before the process can repeat and so um that's about as slow as it goes, but as I turn this knob here, you start getting faster and faster blinking. Yeah, so um, I think what I'll do is I'll cover this um, LED and the LDR in black tape so that uh, other light doesn't get into the LDR. And then um, the input and output are just, you know, really simple. It's just connected. The grounds are connected together. Input is connected. Uh, sorry, that's the input. The input is connected to the output directly through a 10K resistor there. And then this LDR is just connected across the output.